Okay, I'd like to call the Site Plan Review Committee to order for Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. Roll call, please. Mayor Kodowski? Here. Gary Paul? Here. Andy Kroshek? He's excused. Dennis Persick? Excused. Dennis Dale Quinn? Here. Dan Perkin? Pamperin, excused. Pamperin. Carrie Rossburn? Here. Okay, please stand for the pledge. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> and please remember our men and women throughout the world in uniform. I have no changes to the agenda. I need a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. We have a motion by Carrie Rathburn, a second by Dale Quinn to approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. 5A, consider discuss act on the site plan review committee minutes for August 7th, 2024. Move to approve. I'll second that. We have a motion by Dale Quinn, a second by Carrie Rathburn to approve those minutes as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Six action items. 6A, consider discuss act on a site plan review request for temporary signage for Spirit Halloween located at 2763 South Oneida Street, parcel VA-178-4 in the village of Ashwabnan. Aaron. So we'll just wait one sec for the oh, picture I'm of sorry. the site. So, uh, Spirit Halloween has submitted a site plan review request to review their temporary signage for uh, the Halloween season that we are now in. Um, they are currently located at 2763 South Oneida Street, uh, parcel VA 178-4 in the village of Ashwabanon. They're looking to have a sign um, on their storefront uh, that basically identifies the store location. Uh, this is consistent with uh, previous years. I believe Spirit has been in Ashwabanon for approximately the last 15 years or so is what they told me, and this is essentially a continuation of that. Um, they are looking to have the sign up from July 22nd, 2024 to November 1st, 2024. With the size of the sign and the date of the sign exceeding normal requirements, Village Code uh, does require approval by the Site Plan Review Committee. Okay, this is the same as previous years, right? Correct. That's what I thought. Okay. Anybody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. I have no objections to this. Okay, we have a motion to approve by Carrie Rathburn. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second by Dale Quinn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, 6B, consider discuss act on a site plan review request for a third wall sign at 2357 South Oneida Street, parcel VA-120-2. Aaron. All right, thank you. I'll share my screen again here and bring up the proposed signage. There you go. Uh, as indicated on the, uh, the image, uh, which you see there, uh, Associated Bank is just completing a uh, remodeling of their building uh, on South Oneida Street uh, at 2357 South Oneida. Uh, they currently have uh, two wall signs. Uh, they are proposing to move uh, this third wall sign uh, to the uh, west elevation, uh, as indicated. Uh, they are located on a corner uh, on South Oneida Street and uh, my glasses. <clears throat> South Oneida Street and Willard Drive, uh, surrounding land uses are primarily uh, retail, commercial oriented. Uh, staff does not see any issues with the proposed uh, wall sign and there are no recommended conditions of approval. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Make a motion to approve. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, question. Okay, I need a, a second for that before we have discussion. I would second it. Okay, we have a motion by Dale Quinn, a second by Carrie Rathburn to approve. And now we have discussion. Do you have any questions or anything, Gary, or no? Yes, 
no, I don't have any problem with the signage that they want to put on the building. I got one question. I know it doesn't pertain to this meeting. Has there been any problem with the pylon sign uh, that's existing on the corner right now that's a three-sided sign? No, no issues at all. No issues that answered the question. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments? Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve the temporary or the third wall sign at 2357 South Oneida Street. Any other comments? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. 6C, Consider Discuss Act on a Site Plan Review Request for Temporary Signage for Yona West, located at 2337 South Oneida Street, parcel VA-99-7 in the village of Ashwaubenon. Will. Yona West has submitted a site plan review request uh, for a uh, temporary inflatable sign that will, would be located at their location, which is 2337 South Oneida Street, parcel VA 99-7 in the village of Ashwaubenon. The sign uh, consists of a large inflatable boot. You can see an example picture that's part of their application uh, on the screen and as well as in the information packet. The sign measures approximately 15 feet tall, 14 feet wide, and approximately five feet in depth, which totals roughly 1,050 cubic feet. The proposed sign would sit on the far north end of the property, which would take up approximately one to two parking spots of the five total parking spots in the storefront. It should be noted that there is parking at the side and the rear of the store, so the sign placement would not um, make the property not compliant for the parking standards set forth by Village Code. So, it, so with the sign there, it would be compliant for the parking code. Um, the, the proposed sign is requested to exist until November 1st. Uh, with the sign um, being proposed to exist until then, as well as it being an inflatable sign, uh, uh, Village Code does require the um, applicants to go through site plan review request before the sign can be approved. Uh, there is a member from Yona West in the audience today who can also answer questions, but at this point, do you have any questions for me? I don't have any. Does anybody have any questions for Will? The I have a question. Yes. Go ahead, Gary. Sorry. I think the sign looks ridiculous. We have signage on Oneida Street that is way over the uh, size limit that we have. It's old signage, I know that. But to bring something like that forward that's 15 feet high, I understand a new business needing attention to the public, but that is way overboard. I do not see any reason to move any farther on this project. Okay, Dale, you had a comment? Yeah, my question was uh, that uh, this is a temporary thing, right? Uh, correct, it would be taken down uh, November 1st. Was the is, it, is it gonna be kind of like one of those Halloween sign things where every year this is requested or is it a one, one and done? Um, unknown, I would refer to uh, the applicant or the representative of the applicant for that. Okay, we would have to have him come up and State his name and address for the record, if you could come up and answer that question. What was the question? If you could an, um, state your name and address for the record, please. Oh, okay, my name is Adrian Rivas. Uh, my address is, uh, my own address or the, on the store? Your address. Oh, 1981 Spring Creek Circle, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Okay. So, Dale, if you want to ask him. Okay. Um, this says that this is you're proposing it to be a temporary now does that mean is it just temporary for this year or is it going to be i was thinking for this year we, we don't know next year yet it's too too early to say next year you know what i mean okay but right now we start we was thinking to get the boot outside for at least a month so in case that we need it for next year we um request another permit okay does anybody else have any questions you know, we've had boot companies come into a Schwabenon before, last the holiday season, and they're gone. Uh, I, I just can't see something that massive. Uh, we're just starting something that I don't think we should start. Okay. What, uh, can, you, can you tell me what the length is for that boot? 
I know we were talking about spacing and things like that. Part of my part of my concern is depending upon where it's located and that time of year and some of the traffic flow that we get, uh, particularly on game days and things of that nature, my greatest concern is for line of sight, whether it's pedestrian or a driver and somebody looking to see one or the other of those two. So I guess what I'm looking at is, what is the length of that boot that we're talking about? Not just the height, but the length. And do you plan to put it with the, the highest section of that boot closer to the building or out towards the street? Uh, so how the boot has been placed in the past would be uh, it is 14 feet long uh, from the, from the um, or in the parking lot, it does not sit in the right of way at all along Oneida Street. Mm -hmm. It would be clear, at least uh, based on my evaluation of any sort of vision triangle issues that could be there. Um, it is far enough back off the property as back towards uh, where the sign for the previous business that was there is located. Okay. Okay. I just have another question, Aaron. Now, this does not meet our current guidelines for this type of a uh, sign? That's correct. Uh, under our code, we do not allow uh, inflatable signs uh, by right. Uh, we do have certain standards for other types of, you know, temporary wall signs, so on, so so forth, that we can approve administratively as staff. Uh, inflatable signs are not permitted by right. They do require site plan review committee uh, approval. Um, see, I've been here almost eight years now. Um, we had one inflatable sign that went up overnight. Um, I informed them that they had to take it down or apply. Uh, they took it down. Um, so this is the the first one that actually came forward to site plan review committee for, for review. Okay, any other questions? Okay, hearing none, I'll have a motion if anybody would like to give one. I'll move to deny the request for the boot. Do we have a second? I will second that to get this moving. Um, we have a motion and a second to deny the request for the boot. Um, any other comments, questions, concerns? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Opposed. Okay. The motion, it's denied, the boot. So. Okay, 6D, consider, discuss, act on a preliminary planned unit development PUD request for a multi-use residential development on parcel VA-L333-2 Alice Pagels LLC property. Aaron. All right, thank you. I'll share my screen again to uh, bring up a series of uh, uh, images, help the uh, discussion. So the uh, requested plan unit development, uh, as indicated on the uh, site plan you see up on the screen, uh, is for a vacant piece of property currently used for agricultural production. Uh, it's basically uh, south of West Main Avenue and east of South Ridge Road. Uh, Arts Lane extends to the property, but it does not propose to connect uh, because of existing development constraints. There are proposed connections at Pagel's Place uh, and Ponds Edge Court with a future extension uh, to the north to Spirit Way. <clears throat> the property is currently zoned uh, R1, one family residence. Uh, the request for the uh, smaller lots uh, for the homes, similar to what you see at Woods Edge, and then also for the townhomes and the proposed multifamily development uh, lend itself to a planned unit development to uh, kind of bring the project together as a whole uh, as opposed to trying to split it up into different uh, zoning districts. So the request is for a planned unit development overlay. The R1 one family residence will remain uh, the underlying zoning with the PUD, PUD then providing the flexibility uh, to allow for the different types of development uh, indicated uh, on the site plan. Uh, again, as indicated, there is a primary east-west connection from Pagel's Place, a loop road uh, to the north, uh, these are single family homes uh, in this portion of the development, similar to what you see at uh, Woods Edge. 
uh, immediately to the south. Uh, so again, smaller, smaller footprint, uh, still you know, well-built homes. Uh, on the north side, which you see here, are uh, townhomes, uh, similar to what you might see at uh, Alden Station. I do a couple photos uh, that I'll show here shortly to uh, also depict what those townhomes uh, may look like. And then uh, again, there are four 16-unit multifamily uh, development, uh, which you see here on the east side, with the storm pond, uh, environmentally sensitive area, and of course the uh, floodway associated with the Schwabana Creek uh, to the far east. Uh, the single family lots, as indicated, are smaller than typical. Uh, they are about 55 by 125 with smaller side yard setbacks, but again, similar to Woods Edge, uh, uh, immediately to the south. <clears throat> The plan unit development ordinance itself will be developed separately. Uh, since this is a preliminary plan unit development, uh, this is really a our first cut at it. See if there are any major red flags that are out there from a site plan standpoint. Uh, again, we don't have the exteriors all set uh, at this time, which is site plan's primary review period. But for the final uh, plan unit development, we will have final exterior materials, uh, site plan, lighting, landscaping, so on and so forth. So really this is, again, it's our preliminary PUD uh, to identify are there any major red flags, issues that we see that need to be addressed prior to the final planned unit development coming forward. Uh, in terms of recommended staff conditions, uh, as this is a preliminary PUD, uh, there are a, a pretty lengthy, lengthy list, um, but uh, I'll read those in for the record. Uh, submittal of a final PUD packet. Uh, submittal of a lighting plan with photometrics that has light trespass at no more than 0.5 foot candles at property boundaries or to at least no more than currently exists on the site. Uh, include, inclusion of sidewalks on both sides of all public streets as required under municipal code. Uh, all parking areas, landscape islands, and drive areas are to have curbing, either conventional uh, curb pan or rolled. Uh, for the, uh, there's a typo here and I apologize for that. Uh, that was a cut and paste on my part and I apologize. But screen any rooftop or ground mounted mechanical units visible from the property boundaries or public right of way uh, for the apartment buildings in a far east end uh, of the development. Use of fully concealed fasteners for exterior wall panels. Approval of a development agreement between the developer and the village. Uh, catch all, meet all applicable requirements of the Ashwaubenon on site plan review, all other applicable village ordinances. Uh, from engineering, submittal of detailed utility and civil plans with the final PUD packet. Uh, Submittal of a detailed stormwater management erosion control plans with the final PUD packet. Uh, provide adequate access easement to the stormwater pond. Uh, from police, uh, from public safety, coordinate with the on public safety regarding uh, FTC and key box locations for multifamily units. Coordinate with the Schwabenon public safety regarding fire hydrant locations and internal turning radii for the multifamily units. Submittal of a detailed landscape plan uh, and planting schedule with final PUD from forestry. Uh, and from uh, bike and ped identification of bicycle parking locations for the apartment buildings and a recommendation uh, is bicycle parking should meet the standards of the Association of Pedestrian and Bicycle Professionals. I will show just a couple images here of the uh, townhomes uh, for reference. Uh, so again, here you see the townhomes. I believe these are in De Pere. And then uh, also a similar home uh, that you see here uh, as, uh, as is proposed. The apartment buildings, uh, again, schematic design at this point, uh, standard 16-unit uh, apartment building uh, with, uh, with balconies. If you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, otherwise, the developer is also in the audience. Okay. Does anybody have any? Aaron, a uh, couple questions, Aaron. Aaron, this is just preliminary. Um, it will go through the committees as usual and end up at village board as a primary a preliminary one. And then from there, we get down to the nitty gritty on what it's going to look like. Does it meet all the ordinances and uh, rules and regulations we got here within the village of Ashwaubenon? And am I correct on that? Yes, sir. So it will go to plan commission uh, today at 530 uh, and then village board uh, at the end of the month uh, and then followed up with a final planned unit development uh, going through the same process with a formal public hearing. At okay. I was going to, that was my next question. The neighborhood around there will be uh, alerted on what's going to happen there? Yes, uh, I'll be sending out a letter um, either tomorrow or 
Thursday uh, to the neighborhood informing them of the uh, village board meeting, but then also of the formal PUD, uh, the final PUD process, including the formal public hearing. Okay, because I know some people around there, I'm sure they're going to have concern, not a concern, but they want to know what's going on there. Their concerns can be brought up at that time. Um, all right. Uh, if there's no other questions, uh, I will move to approve uh, moving forward with the uh, temporary uh, uh, PUD. Preliminary PUD. Preliminary, excuse me. Yeah. I second. Okay, we have a motion by Gary Paul, a second by Dale Quinn to approve the preliminary PUD for parcel VA-L333-2. Any other comments, concerns, questions? And just be clear as with staff conditions. Oh, I'm sorry, Gary with staff conditions? Staff conditions, yes. Dale? Yes. Okay, that's with staff conditions. Okay, hearing no other questions. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, seven items for next agenda. Uh, this time I have not received any uh, for our mid-month meeting. We still have uh, an hour and nine minutes, uh, so maybe <laughs> something gets submitted. Um, but I, uh, if it's substantial, we'll have a meeting. Uh, but if it's something that we put off till the uh, beginning of next month, we'll do that. Okay. I need a motion to adjourn. That's a move. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. We'll see you at the next meeting. <laughs>